Hello everyone, Emily here at the Coloring Oasis. Happy weekend. I have an Amazon coloring supplies and book haul to show you. Um, haven't been buying as much since Christmas as far as supplies, but I did pick up quite a few things finally um, now and earlier this month. I thought I'd show you at once. So let's get started. I have some Easter spring coloring books I have not shown in any of my individual videos. And by the way, tomorrow is the last day for my uh, free giveaway. I have a video I did last Saturday, uh, my 1000 subscriber video where you see me talking where I said, if you enter a comment below, um, you'll enter into a drawing for some free coloring books. So I'll link that video below. If you haven't made a comment, you have to comment in order to be entered but that's for us um, only as far as um, who i can send the winners to all right so this is the deborah muller uh, i was just working on this testing out um the green here but this is from deborah muller's new fantasy box which was available on her etsy store or through her facebook group that i just did a separate whole box opening and review of all the goodies in that box i think yesterday so you can check that out which i will link below as well um, if you got the fantasy box let me know and what you think of the colored papers i'd be really curious let me know in that other video but i've tried out these greens from my um, arteza set so this is one thing i want to show you i had this before about a year ago and i've used it so much <laughs> like because these broad tip ones are amazing for backgrounds and the fine pins for little details and it was such a good budget um set i've used like half of them so frequently that finally a couple of them started drying out and being used up <clears throat> after probably about <coughs> I guess it was probably like eight or ten months so I um, tossed out all those ones and then the, the half or three-fourths that was left I gave to my friend and I bought another box because this was on sale um, it's Arteza 61 classic colors 80 permanent markers limited supreme edition mega marker bundle it has this giant kind of broad tip the super super fine liner the brush the medium tip um and this one other one it also has metallics in here and so i will show it to you here's all the colors in the back i don't remember what i paid again um it's between 30 and 40 dollar range depending on if it's been on sale or not uh i've seen it as high as high 50s but i think both times i got it, it was way, quite a bit less so it's a really good deal i was actually just doing these greens here um with the greens in this set so i'll show you it's really useful because you get these mega giant ones here which are really good for like big white space areas of background and it gives you a nice thick solid color so we got black blue green and red here are the fine liners they're kind of like bic ultra fine liners really good for the zen doodles or the little details and little flowers here we have the metallics and all kind of falling over we have lots of metallics here and the silver and gold and bronze i use a ton for like all of november and december for my christmas pages and into january so i had used up some of my other set um these ones are my favorite and this is what I, what i was whoops testing these are like the brush the brush ones so they're really kind of let me show you um fluid and juicy great coverage for foliage and the black is um essential looks really good for like makeup eyeliner eyelashes there's a few neons in here the neons are really great great popping colors um lots of pinks and purples and then these are the mid ones and for the green i just did on here i was using these i think i used a combo of uh i should have used these three different greens on these leaves and sometimes and they, i didn't go over them with pencil or anything so this is just kind of how they looked um nice thick color really moist you can't go wrong because you get a little bit of everything in this box um like it has some really nice um yellows and oranges for flowers as well and we've got quite a few different pinks here 
you look at all these pinks, if you're, well, we're going into the spring, right? So you're going to be doing a lot of flowers. So, um, these are real, and these are alcohol markers. So, yes, they'll bleed through your pages, but you can just use single-sided pages. But these are really great for all your flowers and things. So, yeah, I did purchase another one of these because it's one of my favorite value ultimate value sets especially if you're like a beginner or media and you want a variety of markers and don't know which ones to buy or you want a little bit of everything this is totally the way to go i'm going to link everything you see here below so you can find it quite easily all right next i purchased two boxes of the stabilo boss original arty highlighters well, this one's empty because i just uh, i'm using them right now i tested them out so these are awesome. These are Stabilo is a really well-known brand. These are highlighters that come in very unique colors. You can't get with like your traditional, you know, um, uh, school highlighters that you use for kids. Um, I'll just dump these out. So this is like the, the oranges, yellows sets with all these different colors. And then I'll show you the other set. So yeah, we have your traditional orange, but you got like these fluorescents. You have one that's more red. You have these that are like coral. And I, these are all kind of that chisel tip. I recommend these um, because if you're doing like moons, a moon or a sun, they're kind of like bright, but they're translucent. They're really good for glass, for windows, for Christmas lights, for signs or neon signs, um, car headlights and coloring pages. Uh, I like to do a layer of translucent, these more translucent highlighters over alcohol marker sometime. If you have alcohol marker and you've done like, like let's say I did this whole hair strand in like, uh, you know, two different pinks of an alcohol marker. I might go over it with this because sometimes the alcohol markers, you might see little, little splotches or unevenness in the colors um, or the tones and you go over it with a highlighter, it just kind of smooths it out and you can see the other colors through it and it kind of gives it like this magical effect. So I, I really like that. And you can use these for work too, for work, <laughs> for school, uh, but they really are good for coloring. I actually did once a whole page in highlighters um, which a lot of them look like pastels. So let me show you the other colors as well. And you can't find highlighters in these kind of unique colors for almost any other brand I haven't seen before. So let me just shove these in the box. And then I have my, ah, that's good. We're good, it's all good. These are my uh, purples, purples and greens. So we have here that came out of this box, these purples and greens. Actually, I think that one goes in the other box. Yeah, I dropped one. Where's my purple? Mm, disaster. Okay, so yeah, we have some grays and purples and greens. So here's that nice deep rich green, which almost looks more turquoise. And I'll show this to you up close. Some of these greens. I actually just did a page in Coco Wild's uh, Green Witches book where I gave one of the witches green skin. I do normal um, Copic marker skin tone colors and then I went over it with this green to look like it's skin that's tinged green and it has a really cool effect. I really liked it. So that's another thing you can do with colored skin. I'm just going to show you some of these colors here. Like it looks like dark blue, but it, you can kind of see through it. So when I did my, um, back at Halloween, when I did my beauty horror, uh, there was like a, a Bates Hotel picture and there's the flashing neon sign. I used a lot of these um, and I use these in a lot of my Christmas pictures. So if you see it close, how they look here. I mean, they're like, they're light. So you can do it over something or you can just point blank color with that for a nice, a nice light effect. 
but it's more for like under layers, over layers, details, and things that normally you want to look more translucent in real life in a picture. So I highly recommend you get some of these. There's one other set as well, which I don't, actually I do have it. Hold on, hold on. This one I got last month. I forgot and I liked it so much that I got these two smaller sets. Yep, here we go. Whew. I liked them so much. This is the Boss Original 50 Year Happy Highlights 23 Colors. So this has different colors. Like I think a couple, well, a couple might have overlapped, but then there are colors that were not in the other two. So let me show it to you. Uh, I'll link this below as well if you want to just start with one of the smaller ones. Or you can just get this. It has a little bit of everything. So some of them are duplicates, some were not. But yeah, this has... And there's more all the way down there as well. So this has a, almost all the colors that you can't find in highlighters anywhere else. This is one of my favorites for the sky. So um, if you want the combo pack, I guess I might get this one if it's still available. So I will link that below if I find it still available. Um, I did pick up another a special five pack of frost blue stickles as you know i love my stickles so this pack had these blues da -de -da. kind of minty blue frost blue and i've used these a ton primarily i've been using them for my winter pictures so um if you have anything with ocean water lake um, dew drops or water drops on flower petals, snow, ice. You can put in all of these over little bits over your, um, anything where you might have a little bit of blue, a little bit in the sky swirled around your clouds or sparkles around the edges of your clouds. Um, so I've used these a ton. Cool, mint, true blue, sea glass. I can't read that one. So, actually, I think there was might have been one more. That I, I think there might have been six. Is there one more? I think I was. Uh oh, yeah. I think there's one other blue. It's a mid tone that I didn't put in here. Anyway, it comes in a little baggie, but I take them all out and dump them into my mixture of stickles. It's a really pretty blue set, so it's nice for accenting anything where you would have. Like, if I want to do some in here. I would do my water with alcohol marker, several different shades of blue. Then I might take the light one and the dark one and kind of like here we have this little circle area of water, the circle area of water. So I'll have it all colored and I'll put some of the stickles just in these little circle areas. Or I might do like darker patches so that it looks like sparkly glittery water. So that's how I like to use my blue stickles. Highly recommended. Love my stickles. I'll link that below. All right. Next. Do, 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 do. I picked up these individually. Yeah, and you can get them in any color. These are my uh, Faber-Castell Pit Artist Big Brush Markers. These are amazing. I actually, when I first started coloring in 2017, 2018, I discovered my first one, my black and white. I've replaced the black and white probably a dozen times in six years. Um, and I've used the black for, oh, here it is. I already had my black and my black thing. Here's the black. This is what I use primarily the most for black backgrounds. So if I wanted to do this, a black night sky, I would be using my Pit Mega brush pen because it's very thick and you can get it all in. I wouldn't get too close to the details. I'd leave a little white around it and then I'd go in with the fineliner black to fill that in. But it's a nice, thick, rich black, as you can see here. Um, I usually do two layers, but you can buy a lot of these individual colors. I needed some more for spring, so I got a few different greens. And again, great for um, bigger areas or for blending and skies there's a turquoise one great for sky we have a royal blue beautiful rich blue purple several pinks 
Um, so since we're getting on spring and summer, I needed to get some more pinks and blues. And actually, this was still my old one. I have my new one I replaced it with somewhere else. Um, the white I've used a bazillion times for not just on black paper, but for uh, snow, for little white areas, for white stripes and clothing. So it doesn't look quite as paper white. It actually would look more like a like it has a, a milky white, almost like it should look. So these are probably around, depending on which buyer you get them from through Amazon, since we have secondhand sellers. But on general Amazon, I think they run around four to seven dollars per piece, but they last forever. And I would highly recommend starting with a black and a white, maybe a pink or a green coming on for summer. So yeah, I have a whole bin of these. And I just randomly buy new colors whenever, but these are the, the newer ones that I've gotten. I um, got most of these at the end of last month. And because of those are colors I've already had that I've used the most. Not as much as I use the black one, but anyway, those are called Faber-Castell um, Pit Artist Big Brush. I'll link the black and the white, but from there you can find some of the others. I can put my favorite green on there. I have, my very favorite green is on there too. Okay, next I have some books. I have one thing that's not even going to fit in the camera. I'm going to show you guys. I'll just do that now. I got it from Costco. <laughs> you guys have a Costco? It's like a Sam's Club. Um, I've never bought anything like this, so I'm going to just put it up here. It is a coloring and activity pad from Costco. It's in the section where they have all the, like, the kids' toy. I'm sorry, the, all the books. The Costco, you go and they have all these books. And on one side, they have kids' activity books. Now, it doesn't just have coloring pages. It also has, like, um, stickers and things. It says it has over 250 stickers, which you can use to decorate your pages. Uh, I probably wouldn't use that or do any of that, but I liked some of the oversized coloring pages, which I did buy this for. Uh, I don't know what I, mean, what I would do with the rest, but... I don't know if you can get this or something similar online. It's by Lisa Frank. I'll take a look by the time I release this video and see if I see anything on there. I can't even get this in the camera, y'all. But here, let's do this. I can turn it sideways. See all these stickers. So some of these are color by number, which I'm not a fan of. And this is sideways. So this is a big thing. But some of them are not color by number, which is what I bought them for, which I thought was really cute. So, color by number. There's some I really liked in here, like this giraffe. Um, if you guys can see that. <laughs> it's like a mega, like I cannot get in my camera. But, um, so we had really cute like animals, unicorns. So I just wanted to do like a couple of big pictures. This jungle theme one. I mean, I don't know. I imagine that some of these you can get on Amazon. I just don't know if it's as big as the, these ones. I've never bought anything like this before, but I just felt like doing a giant coloring page or two. So if you have, oh, I love this one. If you have kids or grandkids or friends with kids, just pull out the ones that you want to do and give the book, the rest of the book to someone else to do like all the other things in it. I just thought it was fun and I like to have fun. So I bought it. Yeah, that was from Costco um, and, and or Sam's Club. So something different. Not going to fit in my camera. I have almost ready to get to the coloring books. Actually, I'll give you a little sneak peek of the coloring books. You might have seen some of my videos. I've been doing coloring book cafe spring and Easter books. I have here. Two more, Cute Easter. This is volume one. I did a video separately of Cute Easter volume two, which is this one. I link that below, but this is actually volume one, which is the first one that came out last year, but I did not have it. And this one is brand, brand new. This is lovely Spring by Coloring Book Cafe. So let's do a quick flip through of Cute Easter. And again, as always, Coloring Book Cafe has all these cute little things. I gotta fix my camera now. Little things in the front. A little postcard or mini pictures of what the bigger ones are. But this is on par with like just the 
little cute and easy coloring concept, which I really like. Uh, a lot of people don't buy coloring book cafe books, but they do buy like Coco Wayo. And I think Demita Victoria and Coloring Book Cafe are, I like a little better than most Coco Wayo books. Um, especially the easy coloring. I think they're just charming and cute and sweet and fun. I recommend this one in volume two if you only want to buy two Easter books. And even if you're not a beginner, you can make a basic page like this with these light, light grayscales look amazing with what you do with things like stickles and sparkles and beads and liquid pearls and um, pan pastels and gel crayons in the background and clouds. I mean, you can do a lot of fun stuff even if you have advanced skills. This is like a giant egg. I love this with the flowers in it, like a Fabergé egg. Just going fast because I have a lot of coloring books. <laughs> so, probably one of my favorites so far. The other one is the Lovely Spring Coloring Book Cafe. And as always, Coloring Book Cafe has these beautiful, bright covers. This one has more flowers and um, spring animals. Make sure you can see that in the camera. This one is a little more intermediate to advanced, but if you are newer, don't be intimidated because you can just still do solid colors with no blending with any medium you like in these books and you don't have to be advanced or intermediate just to jump in and start using solid colors. Um, to get a feel for these kind of things. Cute. So cute. Oh, the bunnies. I love it when you see animals and flowers together. Kind of reminds me of Bambi for some reason. Oops, did I miss one? Yep, so that is Coloring Book Cafe's Lovely Spring. Highly love, love, love. Okay. Next I have... Um, one more marker set, and then we'll, two, three, two, and then we'll go into the rest of the books. So these I got are Spectrum Noir Metallic Flip Markers, Natural World. So these are natural colors, six pieces, Sunset, Prairie, Marine, Reef, Rainforest, and Moonlight. Uh, not quite sure what they do, so... I love Spectrum Noir. Let's try to find out. It's one of those things where you probably have to activate. Since we're getting into spring, I figured I'm gonna need these more greens. Ooh, pretty. Metallic flip markers. Oh, yeah, so it's a paint marker. Let's shake it on up. So it looks like it does have to be activated. Usually I try to activate these things on camera off camera, it does take a while sometimes to activate paint pens. I tend to, if I get a new box or set, I tend to do it all while I'm watching a show. There we go, that didn't take so, ooh, that's pretty. Ooh, I wish I should do one on here. I don't have any more green on here, do I? Let's, ooh, back it. let's do it a little bit over this green I already did and see what happens. Oh, it's sparkle. Yeah, it's like an, uh, one of my Ohuhu sparkle markers. Ooh, me lucky. That's pretty. Let's try this little bit of orange. Actually, no, let's try a different green. Dark green. That's funny because this looks pretty dark compared to how light the barrel was. So I don't think the lid color is gonna be a good example. This one's definitely darker. Ooh, look at that. Much sparkle, much sparkle. <laughs> Such a weirdo. Um, what if we do like 
a whole leaf here. Not sure this is the best place for sparkle, but why not? It's all trial and error. Art is subjective. All right. Oh my gosh, they're so moist and flowy, liquidy, and just like, I'm not even pushing, I'm not having to activate anymore. It's just, it's actually just working like a marker. Oh, let's see. Ooh, look at that. That's gorgeous. Woo! Yeah, it's got a little yellow tint to it. That's pretty. I'm going to have to do them all with that. Look, at like, even from down here, you can see it. Oh, those are nice. All right. Oh, I'm going to link these below. This is a good place to start. I'm going to probably go buy the other set. I think they had another color pack, so I'll do that. Ooh, like it. Like it. Like it. All right. Spectrum Noir six-piece set. Then I have, well, let's do a couple books and I'll do my last marker set. So I have here something, some stuff for summer I was kind of getting ready for. I have here Cute Mermaids by Jade Summer. This is an older book. I don't know if it's even available still. I mean, it was for me. I don't, I don't know how many copies or how long it'll be available, but... Have to have mermaids for summer. So there's two sets. So that was the first set. If you like mermaids, like Ariel. I think I got this book a month ago. I just, I don't think I had a chance to show it. So saving it for summer. That's the cover picture. Cute Mermaids by Jade Summer. I might have got that from a secondhand seller through Amazon. I don't know if you can still get it because some Jade's summer stuff went cuckoo. So next we have Fairy and Fantasy by Christine Caron. Whimsical Wonders by Julia Spiri. Let me show you this one by Christine Caron because I just love her work so much. I was a member of her Patreon, but she's closing that down. No longer giving out coloring pages due to some plagiarized work. Ironically, <laughs> I just printed that paper off her, um, off her Etsy, not knowing it was in this book I already have. So I just started it. Just started it yesterday, in fact. That's a coinky dink. Um, I had bought this a long time ago, but I never printed it from my Etsy shop. And then I just got this book, so I didn't realize it was in there. But I would much rather have the book because the paper is shinier. I love this Christine Caron books. The paper is, like, glossy. So it it's just, like, using markers... Uh, or even wax pencils on here. It's just like butter. Like, it's so good for blending. She uses a premium paper, which a lot of artists who sell on Amazon do not use. This is gorgeous. This is going to be perfect for spring through June. So, Fairy and Fantasy Grayscale. I definitely prefer the grayscale. It's light enough where you you really just need, like, if you're doing a tree trunk two to three brown tones like of an alcohol marker and just do the darker tone over like where you see the darkest areas the medium tones in between and then take the lightest one and go over the whole thing and it just looks so natural it's just my absolute favorite 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 um so whimsical wonders by julia spirey Lots of fun spring stuff in here. The thing um, about her stuff is it's very oddball and it, it's different. Wait, are those the free pages in the back? Yeah, those might be from some freebies in the back. It's different. It's minimalist. Um, but there are like original. So you can really do a lot with this one. Actually, it occurred to me after I bought this, that I have another copy of this a friend of mine gave me. So I end up selling this with my next coloring book lot that I sell. When you have over 500 coloring books, like that happens, you sometimes forget you already have one. Not often, but it does happen. She has a brand new Alice book too. Maybe it's like a few months old that I 
I actually need to get that one. I don't know why I didn't pick up that one. That's Julia Spiry. Spiry? 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 Okay. Next, I have, since we're talking about summer coming up, Jade Summers Country Summer. This one I got um, on eBay, but... So we have the landscape ones in the back, which are harder for me to show on the camera, but let's go up here to the, the non-landscape ones, yeah. But uh, I didn't actually look if it's even still on Amazon or secondhand sellers. I only found one I got for $2 on eBay, so I bought it, but that doesn't generally happen. That was a fluke. I love this book. It's very detailed, happy summer images. If you're like me getting a late snowstorm in a place where it never really snows in almost April, where I'm in the Pacific Northwest, you are looking forward to summer. Ooh, lemons, fruit, honey. That's gorgeous. I started testing some pencils on it when I got it two days ago. These are actually Crayolas I tried it on with and it worked pretty good, I think. Um, and you can see some of these landscape ones. I'm not sure how well I can show these, but so that's one reason I like this book because you can really do either layout. I'm just not a fan of doing it this way because I just feel like the book's gonna flap closed and it's gonna wreck my picture in the middle of like a stroke or something. <laughs> so, um, next I have Keepers of the Forest by Forest Diver. This is kind of, I thought, very spring-like, um, which is by the company Julia Rivers. And I thought this would be really spring-like. It's more like, you know, lots of greenery, you imagine here. The style is kind of um, tight, so you need more mediums that you can do finer, small, narrow areas, like the little tiny flowers. <clears throat> But I thought it was kind of fun. Kind of Midsummer Night's Dream meets fairy, meets fantasy, meets Christina Caron's um, sprites. You know, a little bit of everything. Little tree houses and warlocks and fairy garden maidens and things that I don't know what they're called that look like they would be in a Disney movie. That kind of thing in here. Maybe Lord of the Rings just came to mind too. <laughs> this book has like very imaginative nature um which is why i liked it it just makes me think of like spring all over the place like every kind of green and brown and earth tone you you have you might want to pull out for this book so keepers of the forest amazon um do -do -do -do. Doo -doo. I don't know if I showed this one in another video or not. I did get Deborah Muller's new Luna book. This was the last one that she had that came out before her fantasy box. Did I show this? I don't remember. But if not, here's a quick spin. So lots of sort of astrological suns and moons and stars. Zodiac, maybe Mother Earth. As always, love, love, love. Everything Deborah Muller. Perfect for all levels. If you're advanced, it's just nice for fun, relaxing, endorphin producing coloring. If you're new, it's perfect for beginners. So this is Luna by Deborah Muller. Here's some of her other books here. I guess I could show you, I do have a book left, one more book, but I do have these. These are really important. This is also Arteza. This is Arteza's 36 Everblend Skin Tone Art Markers Premium Set, 36 Portrait Tones Blendable Alcohol-Based Ink, Non-Toxic. I do not love the packaging. Packaging is annoying. But um, I'll do it upside down so you can see without my ring light. But you can see like all these different colors. So let's, I tried a couple when I got them. But, you know, it takes time to learn your your favorite blends when you're doing skin tones. 
I am a Copic marker skin tone snob because I've mastered it. Um, so this is one I'm interested in. Another one that way more affordable. You can get all of these for the set. You know, my Copic skin tones I buy individually, maybe five or six at a time. And I use them over and over. But this gives you just a whole vast array of skin tones. And you're really going to have to like play with them and then write down which ones you like and what combination. But you have everything you need for blushes, for African, for Hispanic or Asian skin tone, for Caucasian skin tone. You have peach tones. Um, some of these you can use for hair. I've often used the peach type tones in my markers for hair. Let's try this out. Yeah, this has a little orange. I mean, you might need a little coral on your blush, but you can also do hair with maybe like a little bit of a darker brown root. Not in this order. You do darker to lighter. And again, you'd have to pick which ones, but you see how nicely these go together. So you could even have, you know, this kind of skin tone with some under layers of this blush, or you can have the brown um, skin tone with these nice coral hair or darker root. Yeah, so these are nice. Um, and, you know, you can not assume your barrel, this color has anything to do with this color. So I would go more by this, but even look how dark this looks compared to this. So you have to just do a swatch. There's really no choice, um, but they are very, um, very wet. And like, like they go on really nicely from what I tested. Here's a pink. So again, this looks very bright compared to the tip here. I got buzz on it. Um, but from your under blush, you always want to do your blush underneath your cheek color, skin tone color, not on top of. Um, let's see some of the more peel lights. But so what I would do, and I'll, I'll have to do this in a separate video, but I would get like a couple of printout coloring pages that you don't care if you wreck, maybe print several of the same one. Um, and... I would pick like four colors, a pink for a blush, a, a darker, a medium, and a more pale, whether it's whites or browns or blacks, and start playing with your combos, test three to four at a time on one face, write down what you like. So you might do um, like a, a, a beige for the outline of the face and the nose, then bring inward a, a medium tone and then a lighter tone around the nose and the forehead. Kind of like I show you with my Copic markers. So there's a lot of yellow here. So that, I don't know that I would use a yellow like that on skin. I might use it with my brown though for hair. So you can use skin tone markers for hair. I do it all the time. So keep that in mind. Some have a little gray tone like this, or a little green. <coughs> if you're really, bless me. If you're really, bless me, bless me. If you're really into artist style face skin tone blending you might have some green underneath your skin tones um that all for the olive mediterranean complexion so you have to really know what you're doing but you can definitely start with any of these and these are also good for i use my skin tones and my other skin tone sets for like i said hair eyelashes eyes so you have three different shades of like browns for your eyes. Um, I've used them for leaves. I've used them for trees. A lot of my browns for I, that are normally for skin tones. Um, so you don't only have to use it for skin as well. So these can also function as pastels or earth tones. So keep that in mind. But I thought this was a really super good deal. And their Artez is a very good brand. I mean, I've I've had long lasting color mediums um, color with all of my mediums um so i think you guys might like that so give it a try if you don't like it you can send it back um lastly i have two more books i have grayscale derek kekersoy's cool cool and beautiful fun fantasy and jade summer's pre-shaded cute fairies and i already started one here Two, 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 two. Where is it? 
well, they're not done. I, I tested it out. I got a late flat. I tested it out just to kind of try some different mediums in it. I have to stand it upward. Can't find it. Where are you? Where are you? There you are. Okay. Started it out. Um, actually, this was those markers I was testing when I got it. So um, I don't have the swatch I use which colors, but this was pre-shaded, right? So you see some of the different browns and the olive. I did use a little green for that olive complexion here. Black and neon. So I just stopped. I just barely started. The other one I almost actually finished. I don't want to show you until I show you what I colored in March video. So that's a surprise. But I did that in one night the first day I got the, this book. But yeah, this is a really cute book. I love it. And don't be intimidated by this grayscale. It makes things way easier, especially if you're new, because you don't have to worry about blending and shadowing and shading because it'll do it for you. Just use darker colors on the darker gray, lightest colors on the light and the white. I love this book. Love, love, love it so much. And there's two sets, so if you mess up, you got the back up. My last book, let me show you the Daria one. Again, like Christine Caron, she uses this silky paper, premium artist paper. Adorable faces. Look at, is this not like an older, this makes me think of I Love Lucy, an older version of her when she was in the Lucy Desi comedy hour, the hour long shows with the bright henna rinse, henna rinses hair. <laughs> My henna rinses. So. I did this one in a printout six months ago. It might have been what I colored in August video, this kind of vintage 1940s one. You can check out what I colored in, I think it was July or August. I'll link it below. But I did quite a few of these from a printout before I got the book. I much prefer the books because um, sometimes she releases individual images on Etsy before her book comes out. So I stopped buying the individual ones because then when the books come out, it's like I've already had some, a couple from Etsy, but not all. So then I end up not buying the, buying the book because I don't want duplicates, but I would rather have had the book in the first place than the printout. So I've just waited for the books. Gorgeous. Okay, everybody, that is my whole coloring haul for probably February, March. I hope you liked it. Everything you see here will be linked below. Tell me what you like. If you have any of these books, if there's anything else you'd like to see, what you'd like to see me color in, please give me a thumbs up or an emoji and share with your channel if you have it. I'll see you in another video. Thanks for your support.